Morning, Deacon John here. It's December 9th. It's time for the Blue Water by Carrot Schools video of the day. Hope you like that techno intro because it's techno music day today. It's also National Pastry Day, Christmas Card Day, and Weary Willie Day. Here's some information on Weary Willie. Everybody have a great weekend. All righty, panel, the blindfold's all on. Yes, yeah. we got some wonderfully interesting challenges. We'll have a famous guest challenger a bit later on, but right now, Let's see what you can do with our first challenger. Will you come in and sign in, please? All right, panel, as you, I think, know. <laughs> We have put your blindfolds on because there is an area of identification, which, by the way, in this instance, is inclusive of the hometown of our guest, which would tend, tend to give too much away. We can't tell you what the area of identification is that might have revealed too much to you, but we've put on the blindfolds just so that you wouldn't have any added advantage. I'd ask our guest to be familiar with our scoring system, are you? Good, if you're familiar with our scoring system. <laughs> Let the folks here in the theater and those of you at home know exactly what our guest line is. Today is Weary Willie Day. Emmett Kelly was Weary Willie and became this character because his wife became pregnant and he needed to make some more money. However, he didn't become popular until 1933 during the Depression. Because before then, people thought he just looked like a hobo, not a clown. When everyone started having to dress in shabbier clothes, his sad hobo dress was more acceptable. Here's a look at this day in history. December 9th. And in 1950, Harry Gold was sentenced for helping scientist Carl Fuchs pass America's nuclear secrets to the Soviets. And in 1967, first daughter Linda Bird Johnson was married at the White House to Charles Rahm, who would go on to become governor of Virginia and a U.S. senator. In 1987, Palestinians launched long-running intifada against Israel on the West Bank. And in 1992, U.S. Marines landed in famine-stricken and war-torn Somalia. The U.N. sanctioned mission was intended to secure safe passage of food and relief supplies. Aid routes were opened but Somali warlords continued the fight, and thousands would die by the time troops withdrew two years later. And that's this day in history. This is Franciscan Media's Saint of the Day for December 9th. Today we celebrate Saint Juan Diego. The names of Our Lady of Guadalupe and Juan Diego will forever be linked. It was to him that Mary appeared at Tepeyac Hill on December 9, 1531. Speaking in his own language, Mary sought his help in building a church at the very place where she stood. As evidence of her appearance, Mary left her image on Juan Diego's cloak. Dutifully, he told his bishop of the miraculous vision of the dark-skinned lady. In time, Juan Diego lived near the shrine constructed at Tepeyac. Long revered as a holy man and a catechist who taught by word and example, Juan Diego is now honored as a saint. At his canonization in 2002, Pope John Paul II referred to Juan as representative of all the indigenous people who accepted the gospel of Jesus thanks to the maternal aid of Mary. Thousands gathered in the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe for the ceremony honoring Mexico's first indigenous saint. Our verse of the day, the righteous flourish like the palm tree and grow like a cedar in Lebanon. They are planted in the house of the Lord. They flourish in the courts of our God. In old age, they still produce fruit. They are always green and full of sap, showing that the Lord is upright. He is my rock, and there is no unrighteous in him. So it's important every day to try and do the right thing, to make the right choice, and to be good to one another, as God is always good to us. And our joke of the day What's the difference between a Christmas alphabet and a regular alphabet? The Christmas alphabet has no L. 
Everybody have a great day.